Hey, Judge. Can you say hello to everybody? Can you say hello? Anyways, welcome back, everybody. Um, I usually do this after work on my days off, but uh, I'm still working technically, so uh, I got to drop off some work equipment. But I was near, in the, I was in the area of my home, and I got to get something done and get over to a place before they close at 4:30. So what I'm doing is not many people's done it. There's a few people out of state that used to do it. This is actually the first local company I found that does it. But um, I'll just show you why I'm doing this first of all. So let's go underneath the truck here. Oh, man. Oh. So it's a little dark. Hopefully you can see. My carrier bearing joint is ripping. This is my third one. Rough country adapter plates or extensions to drop the carrier bearing. But the bummer is, this sits at an angle, this sits straight, and it pulls down and rips up there. And this thing is only, I don't know, five months, six months old. The other one's OEM lasted me the longest. And then another one that someone put in on the side didn't last but a couple months. So, drive shaft specialists are building me a five inch, one piece aluminum drive shaft. All new U joints, everything except the flange and the yoke that goes into the transfer case. They're going to reuse. So I got to pull my drive shaft and get it over to them guys. I'm going to drop it off on my way to the company shop to get it built. Hopefully, it gets built today. Uh, well, all of it's built today. They just got to add the flange and the yoke. Once that's done, I can throw it right back in. But I just happened to crawl underneath the other day doing some preventative maintenance, checking my shocks which I had to order all new shocks for the whole truck. They're done. Uh, thanks to my buddy Cody Williams with Off The Wall Customs. And uh, he got me a, a set of shocks. Um, and he also is the one I got the lift kit for the Yukon build from. So shout out to him. I'll put his Instagram and stuff uh, for that. But um, yeah, so I got with Drive Shaft Specialist. They've already done this repair before. They have already built a drive shaft for my buddy uh, John's brother's Jeep, the yellow one that was in the Gandy trip. Uh, and they've already done some other work. They've done SEMA builds all over the state um, for custom rides that needed custom drive shafts. So I'm excited to see this drive shaft. I don't know if anybody else that has one around here. He said one other person does, but they've built a few. So let's get to it. Let's get this thing off and let's go get that drive shaft. I'm excited. All right, so this is a 17 millimeter bolt that's over here. Just let you guys know. And this is uh, 16. So for my Dodge guys, uh, easy, came right off, come right off, and then that slips off right there. So yeah, I'm getting excited. Couple little taps, it'll come out easy. Now we just gotta slide the big boy. Bam, bam, chicken wing. Oh. Oh. Still not high enough. Simple, two sets of tools and an old wrench to beat with. All right. All right, so got it loaded up in the work van, which makes it great because now I don't have to worry about my truck. No, I don't have to try to like make it fit or work uh, in the parking lot. So they'll balance it and everything. So we should be golden. But yeah, we're on the way. And uh, I don't know. I'm just super. I'm super excited. It sucks because I wish I would have done it before because I was kind of warned about the part, uh, the adapter that Rough Country sends, and or any lift with the double drive shafts so 
it's a new experience to me, but uh, at least y'all get to go with on the journey with me and you get to see how I like it and if it's an investment that you want to uh, purchase or you know invest in because uh, it's definitely not cheap at all. No, but these guys are definitely working with me because I've already done previous work with them. So yeah, all right, well, I'm gonna stop talking and driving, videoing and driving at the same time. Here we are. No chef's fishes. They're in a bay in the back. He said there's gonna be an off-road uh, shop guy get one of these bays, so that'll be pretty cool. So I wanna do some work with. So here we are. Trashish fish fish. Try not to hit his Camaro. Don't be like, what is this dude doing? All right, so we got the drive shaft in. I think it was like 89 inches, the total thing. But it's, uh, it's taller than I am for sure. Thanks to drive shaft specialists for getting it hooked up for me. New U joints. They kept the yoke piece. It just saves me money for reusing that. And the flange down there. So yeah, let's get it thrown in. Super happy. And I was in the process of actually putting the new shocks on this morning. I got new uh, sway bar, uh, our new stabilizer kit. It was just cheaper to get the kit over um, reusing the old one. So the black will start to match, getting rid of all this color and stuff. So I got that and we'll be good to go. Let's get this bad boy in. Clockwise. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. <laughs> I gotta get it in that uh, flange, that like lip. <laughs> Almost like a what do they call it? Uh, the uh, hub centric kind of ring. That's what they got going on. You want to show everybody your rust? See? Very rusty three year old suspension. Not too bad. This thing is freaking massive. Oh, the truck old schlong dong, man. <laughs> Slowly getting her in. Gotta make sure this is all seated correctly. Um, but yeah, and then also you wanna take out, there's a big bracket where the old carrier bearing used to hang up there. Definitely wanna get that out the way. Uh, because if this ever compresses from a lot of you know, off-roading or something, the axle goes up, they could hit that old mount and then completely bend your drive shaft. Look at this guy. Yeah, I don't see him. All right, 
right, so we're finished up with the drive shaft, and uh, I want to give a huge thanks to drive shaft specialists. Uh, they're in Tampa. I think it's considered Tampa, uh, but it's like that brand in Tampa area, Florida. But um, as far as I know, they'll ship or anything like that, possibly. You just have to contact them. They do really good work. Sean's the owner. Um, super cool uh, people there. Everybody's really nice, polite. Um, I think it's April 11th. They're doing an open house there. So for all my local people, they want to come out and see some rides, check out their shop. You're more than welcome to. Uh, I'm gonna be there. They invited me to come out and have my truck there just because we did all the work. Um, but I must say this drive shaft is freaking awesome. It's done good. I didn't want to finish the video without driving it a little bit. So, but this thing is freaking huge. And it just, I mean, it fit perfectly. No problems, um, no vibration. I've had it up to 80 miles an hour. Um, so yeah, no problems with the 38s, uh, with the load on it, nothing. I haven't had any problems. Um, and I've gunned it a couple of times just to kind of see. And they told me that the rotation of the drive shaft would be a little faster than the old two piece. So I'll feel a little more of a kick, you know, a little more acceleration than I would with the other one. So, which is really cool. So with the big 38s, obviously it cuts it down a lot, but having that extra, you know, uh, acceleration back, is awesome um i definitely did notice a little more peppy like so when i hit the throttle it didn't take so long to kind of go it was a lot more faster i'm not saying this is like some magic you know super quick booster acceleration kind of thing but you do notice a little bit more out of it because it is a one piece so you're not running through two pieces joints and all that stuff but uh but yeah so we're gonna finish the video here so uh right now i'm gonna clean up the fiance's car judge has been riding around in it, so there's hair and a bunch of other stuff so we're gonna get that all cleaned up um and yeah start prepping for the trip here soon so yeah so just make sure everybody's having a good day um it's a new year so get out and do something you know just be yourself you know do what you want to do don't worry about what all these other people have to say um so yeah make the new year great try something new go out and do an adventure and just go from there that's all i can tell you so make sure y'all guys are having a good week good day you know whatever it is when you watch this um just hopefully everything's good and y'all are making it 100 so i'll catch y'all in the next video